people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> and one of these people could find her. Susie Marinen. Aria Sindar. Tina Zimcevic. Today's episode, The Canal Caper. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits. It's Red Lee. Hey, guys. Good evening, all. Okay, the way. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Good. We've got a lot of work to do today. Let's get the chief up there. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's go. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego's League of Larcenous Leeches has attacked again. This time, they corralled the canal in Central America. Carved from north to south across an isthmus, the 51-mile Panama Canal links the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. But now, this well-worn waterway has vanished today. While unsuspecting ships lined the locks, the grimy top grunge dove into the sea. After surveying the canal carefully, he grasped it with grappling hooks and then hauled it away. International shipping has ground to a halt. Agent, here's a lowdown on Top Grunge. He leads the world in mucus production and is a one-man environmental disaster. Your mission, Gumshoes, turn the tables on Top Grunge. Recapture the canal and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Any time you answer a question correctly, we'll give you ten more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the, of, at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Some shoes. Acme Canal Net has tracked top grunge to a former French colony in Africa. Much of it lies in the Sahara Desert. It once included the region that is now Senegal, but the nation separated when independence was granted. Now, this was one of the last countries on earth to abolish slavery. People were legally bought and sold here until 1980. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, to what country did Top Grunge take the canal? Was it Mauritania, Burkina Faso, or Nigeria? Remember the clues that we heard? Former French colony lies in the Sahara Desert and was once joined with the region of Senegal. Okay, put the evidence together. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Top Grunge. Hot on the trail. Suji's ready. So is Aria, and so is Gina. Hold it right up here, Aria. Right up there. There you go, pal. Okay, Suji, what'd you say? I chose Mauritania. Mauritania. What do you think, Aria? Sure, it's Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. What do you think, Gina? Mauritania. Mauritania. The answer we're looking for is Mauritania. Nice job, ladies. Okay. So that means, Suji, you have 60. Aria, you have 50. Gina, you have 60. Let's take a little break here. Find out a little bit more about you detectives, shall we? Uh, Suji, I understand you have some career plans. Um, yes, I want to be a pilot. Really? Uh, what makes you want to be a pilot? Well, we fly a lot in our family, and I just think it's really fun. So yeah. And there was some time that you were you were telling me about that you went oh, for yeah. a ride. Oh, yeah, we um, went on a small plane from Florida to the Bahamas, and it seemed like a lot of fun. So. Cool. Okay, welcome, Suji, to the show, everybody. Nice to have you here on the case. And Aria, you're already making some serious career plans, right? What do you want to be? Yeah, I want to be a heart surgeon, Greg. Really? Why do you want to be a surgeon? Well, I like the human body and I like the way the heart works. And um, also, I guess the money isn't so bad. <laughs> the money isn't bad either. Okay, Aria, welcome to this case, everybody. Nice to have you here. <laughs> and uh, Gina, you want to be a doctor too, right? Yeah, I want to be a vet. A vet, okay. Why do you want to be a vet? Well, I love animals. Wonderful. And what do you do in your spare time? I play soccer and I like to swim. Good enough. Say hello to Gina, everybody. Nice to have you on the show. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we're going to go to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember, I've completely blanked out here. I can't remember where our next clue is from. Uh, let's get the chief up here. Chief, chief, mm. uh, do you remember what our next clue is? I've completely forgotten. I'm sorry. Greg, I just gave you a clue. Be resourceful. Go find one on your own. All right, fine. I'll just go up to uh, Acme Control Net. I'll be right back. You guys hang here. It's so frustrating. I mean, I'm, just, I'm trying to do a job. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get something done here. You know, if you want something done right. Hey, guys. What's up? Whoa. Jeez. Hey, uh, Dana, you got any clues? Great, great. Get out there. We don't have any clues. I'm sorry. Oh, any clues here, guys? Um, how about this? Uh, 
Tell the gun shoes to go to Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square, thanks, Greg. Greg. Yes, yes. Tell them to go to the Forbidden City. Forbidden City, thank you. Greg? Yes. Give them some yuan. They'll need yuan. that. Yuan, okay, thanks a lot. Hey, is that the chief up there? Yes, that's the chief yeah. there, Greg. That's the chief. What buttons you guys got? This is a ma Oh. Greg? Go away. Yeah, okay. okay. Take one. Dana? Dana? Dana, you want to turn me around? I'm going to lose the change in my pockets. Dana? No. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Name the city. Is it Tokyo, Beijing, or Shanghai? Remember the clues that we heard? Tiananmen Square, Forbidden City, and Yuan. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Suji's ready. So is Gina. So is Aria. Suji, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Beijing. Beijing. What do you think, Aria? Chose Beijing also. Beijing. Gina, what do you say? Beijing. Beijing. The answer we're looking for is Beijing. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so that means, Susie, you have 70, Aria, you have 60, Gina, you have 70. Now, Top Grunge could be anywhere in the world, so to check that out, let's go to the World Band Radio. Merhaba, Asen Sila, in Syro Malkok. Fil program Talloom, sinne presentao, Richette Jadda, kif in Syro Lfenek. Wiat milla wa koke li em jal belt valletta, seji zurna, u, skuzawni, imma palissa dahli indan la habariyid. Min gozo, jay rapporti, li em riha tinten ma gzira kolla. Amun etiyeh li tab grunge issa eti stahba fil gzira nazion tana. Okay, gum shoes, name the country. Is it Malta, Sardinia, or Corsica? Remember the clues that we heard? Valletta, Gautzo, and Island Nation. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find top grunge. Suji's ready. So is Gina. So is Aria. Suji, what do you say? I choose Corsica. Corsica. What do you think, Aria? I choose Malta. Malta. Gina? Malta. Malta. The answer we're looking for is Malta. Nice job, Aria and Gina. Okay, close game, guys. Suji has 70. Aria has 70. Gina has 80. Very close game. Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round. I'm going to give you a chance now to try to pick up some extra crime bucks. What we're going to do is, I have three questions here. Each one is worth five crime bucks. All you have to do is buzz in, give me the right answer, and you'll get five crime bucks. Okay? So listen closely, and here we go. Question one. The Maltese currency was referred to as Maltese pounds. Today, the Maltese money is called lira, pesos, or dollars. Gina. Dollars. Sorry, it's not dollars. Aria. Um... Pesos. Sorry, it's not pesos. Suji? Lira. Lira, right. Good job. Okay, let me see if you get five crime bucks. Question two. Here we go. Since Phoenician times, Maltese fishermen have sailed the Mediterranean in brightly colored boats called Lutzi. Part of a face is painted on the front of the Lutzi to ward off evil. Is it an ear, an eye, or a giant tooth? Gina. An eye. An eye is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question three. The Republic of Malta is made up of three islands in the Mediterranean Sea. Is this landmass called a peninsula, an archipelago, or an isthmus? Suji. An archipelago? Archipelago's right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay. So that means at the end of three in the lightning round, Suji has 80, Arya has 70, Gina has 85. Very close. Greg. Yes, yeah, Chief. Greg, what? in my office right away. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll check with her. You guys hang tight. I'll be right back. Uh, don't. I'm really sure what the problem is. Let me go check with her. I'll, I'll be right back. Chief, what's up? Uh, Greg, you still haven't captured Carmen San Diego. Now, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but you are upsetting the fabric of the universe. I'm sorry, what? Greg, some things are meant to be. Grass is meant to be green. Water is meant to be wet. Carmen San Diego is meant to be in jail. And she's out there on the loose. She's been there for a while. And, well, the natural order of things has gone haywire. How do you mean, Chief? Oh, all right. I'll give you an example. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I love that. That's great. Yeah. It's weird, but it's great. Well, I love... that sort of thing has been happening to me all day long, and it's driving me crazy! <laughs> Something is definitely going oh, on around yeah. here. This yeah. is weird. I know. But just don't touch the lamp. It's not the lamp. Don't! <laughs> don't touch! Oh, oh. Sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. We have got to get the gumshoes to capture Carmen San Diego so we can get things back to normal and stop this nonsense. Now, oh. Sorry. How are we going to do that? Uh, I got it. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll offer a trip to anywhere in the lower 48 states to the gumshoe who finds Carmen San Diego. Oh. Yeah. 
A bad? Now, that's not a bad idea. Thank you. Then everything around here can get back to normal. <laughs> Go away. Okay, gumshoes, remember, still a lot of work to do. We're looking for top grunge and the canal. Now, fortunately for us, Acme Bugnet has just provided a recording of a phone conversation between top grunge and Carmen Sandiego. Listen. Grunge, those Acme agents have snipped you out. Go to an African country with residents who might tolerate your smell. Uh, hey, thanks, Carmen. I just love to meet new people. Who said anything about people? I meant the famous mountain gorilla studied by Diane Fossey. They were in that movie, Gorillas in the Mist. Jeez, Carmen, you expect me to live with animals? Maybe not. They're still thinking it over. Meet them at their home in the National Park of Volcanoes. Uh, those gorillas are famous, huh? <clears throat> Maybe I'll brush my teeth for the occasion. <laughs> okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Kenya, Madagascar, or Rwanda? Remember the clues that we heard? African country, mountain gorillas studied by Diane Fossey, and National Park of Volcanoes. Everybody's ready. Suji, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Rwanda. Rwanda. What do you think, Aria? I chose Rwanda. Rwanda. Jenny, uh, G Gina, what do you think? Kenya. Kenya. The answer we're looking for is Rwanda. Nice job. Suji and Aria. Okay, so that means Susie, you have 90, Ari, you have 80, Gina, Gina, you have 85. Now, for our next clue, we go to Acme GloveNet, where Special Agent James Hunter has something for us. Jay? Wow, that top grind smells worse than a locker room. Can you imagine sitting next to him at Fenway Park? You can smell him all the way to the Charles River. They should have thrown him into the harbor instead of the tea. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Boston, Philadelphia, or Baltimore? Remember the clues that we heard? Fenway Park, the Charles River, and tea in the harbor. Everybody's ready. Suji, what do you say? I chose Baltimore. Baltimore. What do you think, Aria? Boston. Boston. What do you think, Gina? Boston. Boston. The answer we're looking for is Boston. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so Suji, you have 90. Aria, you have 90 as well. Gina, you have 95. Very close game, you guys. But let me tell you something. This is a, uh, this is a particularly tough case. And when I get a tough case like this, I always go to this woman right over here. Agnes Acme. She's the founder of Acme Crime Net. She's also the great-grandmother of the chief. I often wonder what she'd do. I would wonder less and work more. Vicks in the 47th state. It's home to about a third of the Navajo Nation. Now search for a town named after a large rock that is sacred to them. Legend says the Navajos sought refuge there from attack and it sprouted wings and carried them to safety. Well... Story time's over. Get back to work. Okay, Agnes, thanks a lot. All right, guys, name the state, name the place. Is it Shiprock, New Mexico, Window Rock, Arizona, or Castle Rock, Colorado? Remember the clues that we heard? 47th state, home to about a third of the Navajo Nation, and large, scarred rock, sacred rock. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find top runs. Gina's ready, so is Aria, so is Suji. Suji, what do you say? I chose Castle Rock. Castle Rock. Aria, how about you? Window rock. Window rock. Gina, how about you? Window rock. Window rock. The answer we're looking for is ship rock, New Mexico. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. Nobody gets too far on that one. But I tell you what, it's now time for the final clue of this round, which means now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think top grunge is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at this and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's uh, made a decision. Now for our final clue, we go to Acme Moosenet. Moosey. <laughs> My goodness, this is exciting. Imagine me, a television detective. <laughs> hey, Bullwinkle, who's famous now? <laughs> okay, gumshoes, just follow the stench to a state that residents call Down East. That's where you'll find top grunge. He was about to jump into Poland Spring and pollute it, but I chased him off. <laughs> I can't believe his nerve. Coming to a place where the moose is the official state animal. Thanks, Lucy. Okay, guys, name the state. Is it Maine, Vermont, or Connecticut? Remember the clues that we heard called Down East? 
Poland Spring, and moose is the official state animal. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can when you do. Lay it down right there in front of you, please. Who's got an answer, Jeannie? Okay, everybody does. Okay, lay it down in front of you, are you? Right down in front of you. There you go. Okay, Susie, we'll start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I did 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. That means if you're right, you'll take the lead. What'd you say? Says Maine. Maine is right. Good job, Susie. You take the lead, you're up to 100. Aria, you also have 90. How much did you risk? Well, I risked 30. 30, you'll be in the lead if you're right. What'd you say? First, Vermont. Oh, tough break. Vermont. No, that's not the answer we're looking for, but you'll go down 30, but this isn't over yet. Gina, you have 95. How much did you risk? 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. If you're right, you'll take the lead. You and Suji will go on to the next round. What'd you say? Maine. Maine. Nice job. Gina and Suji going on to the next round. Okay. Are you listen, man? You were a great detective. You did some great stuff today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Next Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen Watch, a Carmen Sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And I, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, ladies, now it's time for you to go to Maine, where you're going to try to track down Top Grunge and the canal. What you have to do is find them and bring them back. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Acme Maine Net has informed me that Top Grunge has been tracked to the city of Portland. Here's the scoop. Largest city in Maine, population around 62,000, founded 1632 as Mashigon, later renamed Indigrit, Elbow, Casco, and Falmouth before Portland was settled on in 1786. Native son Henry Wadsworth Longfellow called it the beautiful town that is seated by the sea. The boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Skyline. Portland's had a turbulent past. It was destroyed in 1676 by an Indian attack, in 1775 by British warships, and in 1866 by fire. These disasters led to the choice of the city motto, Resorgum, I shall rise again. Sculpt the area from the Portland Observatory, built 1807. Sailors' wives used to scan the seas from here, waiting for their ships to return. Now, see if you can spot the stolen canal. Be sure to case the old Port Exchange, located on Portland's waterfront. It was the center of 19th century commerce, rebuilt after the 1866 fire. Portland Head Light, located on Cape Elizabeth, oldest U.S. lighthouse still in use. Built 1791 on orders from President George Washington. Now, top grunge may mistake head light for head lice and head on over. Better check it out. Victoria Mansion, built around 130 years ago for Hotelier Ruggles Morris. Artisans spent four years on the elaborate wood carvings and decorated ceilings. Now, one good sneeze and top grunge will turn the whole thing into a fiesta of flattened finery floating in phlegm. So, keep alert. Well, that's Portland, Maine, gumshoes. It's time to head into the field. Remember the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance, dedication, courage. Go get them, Gumshoes! Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Maine. Come on in. Set your stuff right down there. Take a walk right over there, if you will, please. Let me show you what we have. Here are the locations where you might be able to find Top Grunge, the canal, and a warrant for Top Grunge's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego and you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now one more thing, you can pick any one of these locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Gina, you were ahead at the end of the last round, you go first. Um, Casco Bay. Casco Bay. Oh, nothing there. Suji. The observatory. The observatory. Nope, nothing there. Gina. Landmark's office. Landmark office. The nice job, you got the warrant. Remember, you have to get the loot, the warrant, and the crook. Use some strategy, Gina. Go ahead. Deering's Woods. Deering's Woods. Nope, nothing there. Go ahead, Suji. Um, State Pier. State Pier. Nope, nothing there. Gina. Victoria Mansell. Victoria Mansion. 
You got top grunge. Remember again, your strategy is the loot, the warrant, and the crook. Go ahead. Museum of Art. Museum of Art. No, nothing there. Suji, go ahead. Um, headlight? Headlight. Nothing there. Gina. Siemens Raw Bar. Siemens Raw Bar. Nope, sorry. Suji. Um, Wandsworth Longfellow House. Wadsworth Longfellow House. Nope, sorry, nothing there. Gina. Neil Dow Memorial. Neil Dow Memorial. Nope, sorry. Suji. Cushing's Island. Cushing's Island. Nope, sorry. Gina. Back Cove. Back Cove. Wacky Waterway. Okay, there's the loot. Go ahead. You got a free turn. Landmark's office. Landmark's office. The warrant. There's the warrant. Need one more. Can you find Top Grunge? Victoria Mansion. Victoria Mansion. Is he there? Yeah. yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Come on over here, Gina. Come here. Nice job, bub. Now, you got Top Grunge. All you have to do now is put him in jail. Pull on this chain and do it. Okay, Gina, look, we'll talk about your next adventure just a little bit, but first, Suji, listen, you were a great detective. You tracked Top Grunge all the way here. We got some great stuff for you. See? We have a world band radio so that Suji can listen to broadcasts from all over the world. Nice work, Suji! Okay, Gina, a little paperwork for you. Inside there's a piece of paper. There's also a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Do it. Where do you wanna go? Okay, that didn't take long. Look, you got top grunge. You got the loop back. Now all you have to do is find Carmen San Diego, and we are. Hold on a second. Can you hold that for me? Let me find out who this is. Hello? Yeah, she's right here. Hold on. It's for you. Well. <clears throat> it's a dirty trick, me being at the joint and carbon on the loose. <laughs> Look for her in the United States. <clears throat> oh, okay. Looks like you and I are going to the United States. Chief? Gina, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska. Oregon. Montana. Wyoming, Oklahoma, Texas, Mississippi, Michigan, Ohio, South Carolina, Florida, New York, New Hampshire. Greg, take Gina to the mat! This is what it's all about right here, all right? What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through seven different states, identifying each state with a marker. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. And if you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is. If you're right, though, seven times within 45 seconds, then you will win that trip to wherever you wrote in that portfolio. Sound good to you? Mm-hmm. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. All right, come on, Gina, let's go. Cheer on, you guys. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, Gina. On your mark, get set. Go. Carmen went to Fairbanks, Alaska. Come on, Gina. You got it. Come on. Carmen went to Miami, Florida. You got it. Come on. Carmen went to Salem, Oregon. No, try it again. Try it again. No, come back here. Try it again. Hurry. Salem, Oregon. Oregon. No, nope, that's not it. Come on. Try another one. Come on. Cheyenne, Wyoming. No, try it again, try it again. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah, you got it, come on. Amarillo, Texas. That's it, come on. Tulsa, Oklahoma. You got it, come on. Oh, out of time. How much you got? You got five and 45 seconds. Give a round of applause, guys. Come here, Gene. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I tell you, you see, sometimes, sometimes karma is just tough to catch. That's all it is, you know. Uh, but I do want you to know, though, you did get, got, get top grunge. You did get the loot. That's not bad. Chief, what do you think? Well, Gina, we're all proud of the good work you did throughout the day. And we here at headquarters, well, we pitched in and we purchased a portable CD player we thought you would enjoy. And a selection of CDs from around the world. That's not bad, right? Yeah. You did okay. Okay, look. You've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today, a lot of hard work. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockapella! Yeah!
Well, she sneaks Ooh. around the world Ooh. from Vienna to Ooh. Carolina. Ooh. She's Ooh. a sticky Ooh. fingered filcher Ooh. from Ooh. Berlin Ooh. down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride Ooh. on a slow boat to China. Ooh. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it out and cut right on the from the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never are can saw her steal the me come from the the world is Carmen San Diego. She go by Swatter to Thailand, Milan, Bia, Jamali to Bali, Ohio. I'm back. Well, she'll ransack Pakistan and run a scan in Scandinavia. Then she'll stick them up down under and go big pocket further. She was the missing misdemeanor when she stole the beans from Lima. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Agnes Atkins speaking for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? And remember. If villains make you feel remorseful, call on us. We're kind, yet forceful. Elliot Garcia, my office immediately. Elliot, you're here. Good luck. Through <laughs> that door. Ah, uh, Elliot, right over here, Elliot. Okay. Now, Elliot, you know, I'm always on the lookout for Acme Crime Net agents, and I think that you have potential. So, I want to ask you a question. You ready? Yes. All right, now listen carefully. Tolstoy and Dostoevsky were 19th century authors whose novels told about life and history in their native country. Now, what country was that? Poland, Germany, or Russia? Russia. Absolutely right, Elliot. I knew I was right about you. Wear your Carmen sweatshirt with pride, and thank you. Thank you. And remember the Acme motto. Acme agents will be there, catching crooks with special flair. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Corporate Bucks provided by Toyota.